Welcome to Tuesday, leg day. Um, it's just about time. I am using Ray's really cool um, tripod, but I might be like moving it up and down to see if there's like a better angle for you guys. So for right now, I think it does the majority of the angle that we need at the moment. So um, I have a bunch of like different weights and I have some bands ready for the workout. Uh, so yeah, we'll just wait a few, like a minute or two, and then I'll just start warming up and whoever joins can join in wherever we are at. Oh. I don't know if you can see the workout, but I don't know if it's upside down. We're going to be doing this. We will be, oh, man, right there. There we go. But I'll be posting that workout up, so no worries. All right. Well, it's just about 11.15, so make sure you have a little space. Don't fall over anything like I have almost done before. All right, so we're gonna do some hip circles. Lifting that leg, keeping those hips stable. So engage the abs. Somebody join. Oh, hi, Peggy. I think it's just you and me possibly right now. That's right. Miss you guys. Hope everybody's doing good. And good there, and then we're gonna bounce on the one leg. If you need to, you can hold on to something. Like I said, if you have a chair or anything, um, today that will be helpful, so you can hold on to your chair. Doing some leg swings. Again, keep your abs engaged, so it's just you're getting the hip motion. And switch sides. Then back and forth, make sure you're not utilizing your low back. You wanna keep that stable. Again, just the hip motion. Short week this week. I bet everybody's excited. Hopefully you guys have some fun uh, plans for 4th of July. And good there. All right, um, now we're gonna do some body weight squats. So hands out in front. We're doing 10 rounds. I feel like this makes me look really tall from this angle. Usually so used to being so short. All right, we're feeling like we're warming up pretty good here. After this, we're gonna go down to the floor and do some glute bridges. So that's where we lay down and we lift up, squeeze our glutes. And good. All right. Now grab your mat or the floor. Hopefully, I think you guys can see me from here. Bring it down. We're gonna do 15 reps of the glute bridges. All right, hands at your side. Squeeze the glutes, lift. Also, it acts as a little bit of a stretch for those hip flexors. Especially if you've been sitting a lot this morning, this is gonna feel really good for you. So give those glutes a nice squeeze to help give the hip flexors a little extra stretch. Drive the heel into the floor. And good, we're almost there. We'll go about two more. Last one. Good, and last thing, about 10 per side. Stay on the same side, we're gonna do some bird dogs. So you're just gonna like extend, touch. Extend, touch. There you go. So if you have that chair or anything, um, we're gonna need that in the first round. We're gonna be doing some single leg chair squats. Or if you wanna get crazy, you can do some what's called pistol squats. And switch sides. But you can always use assistance for either one. If you have something to hold on to, you can always use that or use a weight as a counterbalance. Two more. And last one. All right, so as I said, we're gonna start off. I like to use a weight with these for a counterbalance. Um, we're gonna do 12 per leg. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with your chair here, or your couch, or whatever it is that you may have. Or if you wanna go with nothing, you can do that too. But you're gonna sit down in your chair, come up. You don't wanna rock, so sit and stick. If you need to, keep that other foot down just a little bit, and that'll be a modification right here. Okay, so you can also do that. So you have 12 per side there, and then you need something, either a book or something, I'm gonna use these little weights to put my heels on. So you're gonna put those down on the floor, put your book, put your heels, hold the weight, and then we're gonna do some squats here, really concentrating on those quads. 
And then the last thing we have is curtsy lunges. So curtsy lunges are always keeping your body square. You step to the side and then switch, okay? You can hold the weight here, hold the weight here. If you cannot do the curtsy lunge, you can either grab maybe like a band and do some side steps. So also hitting the outside of the glutes, your glute med. Um, or we can also do just like those lateral lunges, more control. So you can also do that as modification, all right? Okay, so we have the three exercises. We're gonna start with the single leg chair squat. 12 reps per leg. All right, so grab a weight if you need it, or if you have it. Hold up in front. Pick your harder leg first, and then you're gonna squat down. Drive up, remember sit and stick. Watch your knee, make sure your knee doesn't cave in. You wanna keep that in line with your foot. Okay, you should really feel those quads right here. And also the glutes as you come up. Give it a good squeeze. And try to keep your foot connected to the floor the whole time. Don't sit and then let it come up like this. Woo, now I just got up. 10, you have two more. 11, last one, 12. All right, so now with the other foot, same thing in three, two, one. So lift that leg, you're gonna sit and come up. Trying to be as square as possible. You don't wanna be like all over the board. So the seat doesn't need to be super low. If you need to, you can always add say like a pillow or something. If you need it to be a little higher. All right, we got three more now. 10, if you want to tap your toe in between each round, do 10 or each rep. And 12, good, okay. All right, grab that thing to elevate your heels. Or if you want, you can just do regular squats or maybe sumo squats. So, I'm gonna use these little weights. Maybe use a book or something. Holding the weight here, we have one full minute. So take your time, go at your pace, or take a little rest as needed, okay? In three, two, one. So you're gonna concentrate. This bothers your knee or anything, then just go to a regular squat, try that out. Just go nice and controlled. Make sure your knees are not going too far over your toes, maybe just about in line. With this one, we are really working those quads right here. I almost fell back to showing you guys that. All right, you're doing good. Guess what, halfway there. Nice and controlled, take this as you can. Take breaks as you need to. Shake it out, hop right back into it. I know I'm trying to be a, a warrior and push for this full minute. We're getting close, we have 15 seconds. Your legs will be screaming, but you're gonna thank me when they start growing, when they start to or leaning out and looking really good, you know, that muscle will be popping and good. <sighs> Summertime, right guys? Wearing shorts. Come on. All right, oops. Um, curtsy lunges. So we're gonna go 30 seconds per side. So actually, let's just stay, we're just gonna stay on the one side. All right, and if you're gonna do um, the lateral lunges, we're gonna alternate. You're just gonna have to go all 60 seconds, okay? But those of you that are gonna do the curtsies, let's pick your harder leg first. Start on that side, 30 seconds. In three, two, one, begin here and come up. Again, keep your body square. So watch how I'm keeping my body square on with you. So if I actually could see you right now, I should be able to see your whole body. Your body should not turn. All right. 10 seconds on this leg. Nice and controlled. Just really focus on the muscles that you're using and switch ways and begin going right into that other leg. Woo. Feeling a little bit of a burn. I think I always push a little bit harder when I know you guys are watching me. Isn't that part of the accountability factor, hey? So thank you guys for making me push myself. Extra, 10 seconds. You all rock. Five, three, two, 
One. Woo. Take about 30 to 45 second rest. Grab some different weights if you need to. Um, anything like that. And then we will go back to the chair squat, okay? Or if you need to grab, say, uh, a pillow or anything for in your chair to elevate it or take the pillow away to make it a little bit more challenging, go right ahead. So, oh, I'm gonna try to put my hair up. But yeah, let's see who's over here. Oh, Yusuf, oh my gosh, oh, Mel, hey Mel. Alicia, what's up girls? All right, let's make sure you got your chair. Or again, if you're gonna do a pistol squat, I always have to hold on to something. A pistol squat is basically, if you just hold here, where you come down and then all the way up. I can't go all the way down very well with that. It's a challenge for me, so I like these guys better because it makes me feel it more. All right, grab your weight, 12 per side. Pick your harder leg first in three, two, one, begin. Sit back, drive. If you want to challenge yourself, you can try to keep this leg up the whole time. Sometimes I do have to put it down in between. Really drive up, squeeze that glute, big push. Like you're making a hole in the floor. Hopefully you guys have some music on in the background. Mine's very quiet. Because sometimes we discovered if on YouTube they can hear it, they block in the video. And we're good there. All right, going to that other leg in three, two, one, begin. Come down, drive. Ooh, gotta fix my leg. Two, three. I should have mentioned, make sure you don't have like a rolly chair because you don't want it to go flying back on you or put it against the wall. Maybe that'll work. That would be a fun surprise. Eight, nine. Ten, we've got two more. Eleven, last one. Whew, all right. Grab your, oops, I'm gonna need that weight. Grab your elevation for your heels so we can do those squats. I'm gonna go at a sideways view for you guys. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab weight. If you don't want the weight, you don't have to have it. But we're gonna elevate those heels just like so. Grab your weight if you have it in three, two, one, and again, we have one full minute, you guys. Again, go at your pace. Just really focus on those legs doing the work. Squeezing the glutes as well. Again, keeping your back in a nice neutral spine position. So as you can see, I'm not letting myself round. So use this weight as a counterbalance. Some people have low enough like stairs, I think, that they use. That would be another option. Kind of elevate the heels. We have 20 seconds. Take this as you can, you guys. Dig deep though. Don't just give up to give up, okay? Really fight through it. 10 seconds. You are probably feeling that burn. Almost there. Three, two, one. Give me a like if you're on fire. My mom's watching, hi mom. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna do some curtsy lunges. So, grab your weights, no weight, whatever you can do. You could also do it with the band, holding the band here. I'll do this round with the band, if you do have one, to show you how it's done, okay? So choosing that side, in three, two, one, begin. So you're stepping sideways, and then just pulling up Keeping enough tension in that band, you're gonna feel most resistance as you come up. So you're gonna press against that resistance. Again, drive your foot into the floor, then you're trying to make a hole in the floor. Keep your body centered. We are crushing it right here. We have 10 seconds on this leg. No giving up. I want you to push. Three, two, try to get one more. One, okay. Other leg here. All right, you guys. In three, two, one, begin. I'm always trying to make sure that I'm not gonna fall over anything. Because of the one time, I don't know if any of you saw it, almost busted my butt on some dumbbells. It's getting all fancy just watching you guys not watching where I was going. I totally tripped on one. 
That could have been really bad for my ankle. <laughs> Half, we're over halfway there now. 10 seconds. Make this burn. Keep going. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, grab some water. Put your hair back up if you're one of the ladies and it's falling down like me. All right. Last round. If you feel like, eh, first two rounds were nothing, add some weight or take away your chair and try to do the pistol squat, okay? There's definitely ways to make it more challenging. Or again, if you need to with the chair, you can always utilize your other foot and keep it down. So just kind of keep that heel down, but just make sure that the leg is doing most, the one leg is doing most of the work, okay? All right, it's about that time. Round three, we are cruising. All right, 12 for leg. Choose your hurdle leg. In three, two, one, begin. Make sure you hit the chair too. I put a lot of trust in that first drop right there. Three, four, there we go. This is the round to really dig deep. So if you're like me, you're feeling those legs, but it feels so good, right? 10, really focus on your form. 11, last one. 12, all right, shake it out. And the other leg in three, two, one, begin. Sit back, come forward. I'm gonna walk away just a little bit from my chair. Four, there we go, you guys. Really focus on your good form, keeping the abs engaged. That'll help keep your body stable. Not going all over the place. Nine. Ten. We got two more. Eleven. Last one. Big up. Twelve. Woo. All right. Grab your elevation. Minus these five pound dumbbells. All right. I'll face you so it makes you look like, or think I'm looking you square in the eyes and be like, you gotta do this. All right, going for one full minute. Three, two, one, begin. Squatting down, coming up. Again, if you don't have anything to elevate your legs, just do regular squats. Just keep it low. Really just focus on feeling those quads, doing the work, especially as you're coming down. As you're coming up, use those glutes to help power you up. Go at your pace, but don't cheat yourself. Never give up, just because it's the last round. This is when the going gets tough. The tough get going, right? My Tuesday quote. Whew. You guys are killing it. We have, there we go, 15 seconds. I want you to push, to sweat through it. We got this. Making it burn, five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo, way to go. All right, last one of those curtsy lunges. I'm gonna go back to the weights this time. So you can use weights or dumb, or uh, weights or the band. All right, or you can do those lateral lunges. Keep it high or the band sidewalks, whatever you wanna do, okay? Any option is, is good. It's gonna work those side of the glutes side of the glutes. All right, in three, two, one, begin. Staying square, drive up. Two, three. Once we finish this round, we'll be about a little over a third of the way done. It's exciting, right? Hard work never seems so fun. 10 seconds. Also, I'm missing my PIC right now. She's out in Door County. Lucky girl, she's at fun though. One more, and good. All right, in three, two, one, begin. If, you have ever, if you have ever been to Door County, give me a like, it's so pretty. Definitely wanna go back again. But right now, we are working for that 4th of July day to feel a little bit 
stronger a few days right before. So you don't want to just give up on yourself and let everything out the window. You got to push for this. One more. Woo! Made it. All right, you guys grab some water. And then, woo, I will tell you the next things that are coming up. So, next round, uh, we do not need, actually, we do need something to sit on, hopefully. If you don't, totally fine. Uh, let me grab something. All right. I'm gonna need some bands and stuff, so I'll try to get creative here. All right, so our first one is an RDL, but we have a one and one fourth RDL. So that means shoulders are going back. You're going to push back into your hips, feel those hamstrings light up, and then you're coming up only partial of the way by pushing your hips a little bit forward, and then you push those hips back, then all the way up. That's one breath. So it's down, quarter of the way up, back down, all the way. That's one. So we have 10 reps of those. Uh, next one that we have is what it calls a knee squat. So you're going to need the floor. And then you're going to be on both knees like this. We're going for about one minute. You're going to come up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. All right? If you cannot do that, let's just have you go with some low sumo squats right here, keeping those legs wide, just like this, okay? Or you can always just do a split squat too, if you wanna just practice a single leg. So we do half, half, 30 seconds of this leg, 30 seconds of the other. Last thing that you need with the chair and a band, if you have a band, is you're gonna put the band around your feet, kind of at the bottom up here, and then you're going to kick up against the band, really working that quad. If you don't have a band, you can also try just do body weight like this, or you can keep the leg up, do some circles one way, circles the other, that will still hit your quad, okay? All right, so let's start off with the one and one fourth RDL. You can also use a band underneath your feet for this, okay? I am sweating like crazy in here. All right, so 10 reps, try to go at my speed, because I don't want these done too fast, okay? In three, two, one, begin. So you're pushing back, up a little, back down, all the way, that's one. Keep that back in a nice neutral position. You do not want to be arched like a cat. That's two, push back, three. Again, we are going for that stretch kind of pull feel back here, and then squeeze the glutes as you come up. Five, halfway there, push back, six, seven, getting closer, make sure your toes stay down, try not to let them pop up, eight, two more, now keep those anchor down right here, drive all the way up, one more, push back, a little bit up, Push back, woo, made it. All right, knee squats, if you want, you can hold weights, otherwise just do them body weight. For the first round, I'm gonna do body weight. Uh, just to see how it feels, right? All right, so we're gonna go for about one minute. All right, in three, two, one, begin. So stay on the same leg for the first 30 seconds. That was gonna go down, down, now it's gonna come up, up. So halfway, we will switch. Take this as you can too, okay? Ooh, I am sweaty. If you need to take a little rest, go right ahead. Go a little bit slower. I'm trying not to go too, too fast. But a moderate pace for what feels good for me, okay? But go for what feels good for you. Five seconds, and then we're gonna switch lead legs. Try to go one more. All right, switch up the lead leg. Now I'm going my left, which probably looks like your right. Maybe the opposite. Nice and controlled. Make sure that knee is staying in line with the toe. Do not want to let it cave. Keeping the abs engaged. 10 seconds. Don't give up. If you need to, you can always just go into a regular squat. 
three, two, one. All right. Now, if you have a band, let's grab that little mini band. You might be able to use the big guy. We'll try to go through that the next round. But first one, if you do have one of these little guys, let's use that. You're gonna put it kind of underneath that arch of your foot here. All right. We're gonna go for about 30 seconds per leg. Let's see my paper. All right, sit nice and tall in three, two, one. Begin. So you're pressing up, come down. So you should really feel that quad right there. Hopefully you guys are doing the workout. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Maybe getting as red and sweaty and gross as I am. Ugh. All right, we're gonna grab our weights. Or we'll grab your band, whatever one you have. All right, keep those shoulders back. And we're gonna begin in three, two, one. Going down, push back, little forward, back down, all the way up, squeeze. Down, little up, down, there we go. Really focus on trying to get that pull in the back of the legs. Engage your abs so your back does not take over. Four. Halfway there. Keep those shoulders back. Lax engage. Seven. Again, we do not need to go crazy fast on these, just so that we really feel them. Nine, one more. Whew, ten. All right. Knee squats. Or you can stay up and just do those higher um, squats here, like this. Or if you want to do, again, those split squats, we can do that. Okay, either one. All right. Getting down on the floor. About one minute in three, two, one, begin. Come up, up, nice and controlled. Try to keep that body stable. You don't want it to be like going all around like this. So keep abs engaged. Focus on good form. If the weight, if you're holding the weight and it feels like it's getting too heavy or your form's getting sloppy, drop it. I'd rather have you have good form. And we're gonna switch sides right here. Switch lead legs. You guys will have to let me know how you're feeling after this. Alright. We're getting close. We have about five seconds right here. Dig deep. Don't give up. Three, two, one. Woo. All right. Grab that little band if you got it. Or we can just do body weight. All right, band around. We have 30 seconds per leg. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall. In three, two, one, begin. Press up. 
keep that toe pulled up towards you. That's going to help activate that um, quad hamstring. So you kind of keep that toe pulled up. That's really going to help hit right in that top, which is what we want. Staying tall, do not slouch. We have about five seconds. Three, two, one, and we're gonna switch. Kick up, back down. Keep those abs engaged. Woo. Sometimes a man slips up like that. Woo. Make it shake. Guys, we got 10 seconds. Don't give up. Keep going. Make that quad feel it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. Made it. All right. You guys grab some water. I'm going to show you our last two exercises. I might only have us go through one round, just so you know it's kind of getting close to time. Um, but what we're going to do is called a Bulgarian split squat. If you cannot do the Bulgarian split squat, again, you can always just do like a regular one, um, but we're doing a pulse. Also, if you put your foot up on something, um, you can try to hold on to something. I don't have anything right here, but say if you, like, you had a couch by you, hold on to your couch for, um, for a little bit of help. Otherwise, you can just do body weight. So what you're gonna do is, I'll show you from the side, you will put your back foot up. So you just want the back foot elevated. You don't want it too high. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna sink down. You wanna make sure you're feeling more on this front leg. So slightly forward, you're gonna come up, but not all the way. So stop a little short, coming up and down, nice and controlled, okay? So again, even if you did do those split squats the last round, you can still do them again. And just try to keep it low so you're really feeling that quad, all right? So we're, our goal is 30 seconds per leg. So we're gonna start off with that, okay? All right, find your spot. If you want to hold weights like champ, you totally can. If not, because you're not there, that's fine. Let's do body weight. I'm gonna do body weight right now. So I know my legs are burning. All right, in three, two, one, begin. So coming down, and then you're not coming all the way up. Really focus on pushing through the heel and that mid foot. You want your whole foot grounded, but really think about you're kind of driving your foot into the floor so that this back leg isn't doing all the work. You should mainly feel it more than the front leg. We have 10 seconds. Thank goodness I was talking so much. Three, two, one, woo! See, by the way, I'm gonna tell you, I was feeling it, not burning. All right, other leg in three, two, one, begin, so you're coming down and up. Again, don't come all the way up, so you wanna hold tension all on that leg, the quad. Should feel a little bit of that glute too. You might feel a little bit of a stretch kind of pull feel and that opposite leg on the back. Just make sure you're not hanging out on that back leg. This front leg should be doing the work. Whew. Yep, it's doing the work, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. If anybody else's legs burn, let me know. So I'm not the only one, because they are hurting. All right, um, I'm gonna take you guys down to the floor. If you want, if you have like a band, you can put a mini band above your knees. But what we're gonna do is glute bridge pulses. You can do single leg, or you can do double leg. All right, so if you do single, it's gonna look like coming up to the top, coming back down, but never fully touching the ground like that. That'd be 30 seconds that side, 30 seconds the other. Otherwise, just do the full minute with two legs, okay? So two legs, just hold them up here. Just never fully come down, okay? All right, in three, two, one, begin. So coming up, back down. This you should feel a lot in your glute, the lower glute, the upper hamstring. Make sure to engage your abs. Never want to let your belly or your rib cage pop up like that, so we're going to press that down so everything is in a nice alignment. We have about five seconds. And switch legs. No one up. Keep it up. Squeeze those glutes as you 
come up. Don't let that back take over. Again, keep that rib cage down. Five seconds. And made it. All right. For those of you, if you have to go, try just get a couple quick little um, stretches, maybe like this. Kind of in there, stretch out those quads and everything. But I want to do one more round. Same thing. Let's just grind it out, okay? Do what you can. Okay. We're just going to hop right into it. Those Bulgarian split squats, 30 seconds per leg. Find your elevation. Step it out a little bit in three, two, one, begin. Coming down and never fully coming up. All right, again, keep that little bit of a slight forward lean, but don't be like this. So we want just a little bit. Now keep your hands out in front to help keep you a little bit upright. Okay, so we're getting close, we have 10 seconds. Do not give up right here, you kept going. Let's go, do it. Three, two, one. Five seconds. Put your other leg up. And three, two, one, begin. Grinding through, you guys. In order to help your body change, you got to push. Change does not happen by staying the same, doing the same weight, things like that. It's got to burn. You got to feel like you're working for it. All right? I am definitely... We have three, two, one. Oh, baby. Woo! I got that burn going on. Definitely burning. Okay. Last one, blue bridges. Then we'll be done. Okay. You guys are going to feel so good after this. All right. Starting on whatever leg you need to. That's harder. Or doing the double leg. In three, two, one. Begin. Lift and squeeze. So before we're working the front of the leg, now we are working the back. So thankfully, the front is not getting a little bit of a rest. If you can, just try to keep this opposite leg just stable. Don't let it fling you up or anything. If you need to, you can always kind of lightly put it down on the floor. If your hip flexor or anything is bothering you. And we're gonna switch. Three. Two, one, begin, lift, squeeze. Again, whatever you need to do with this other leg, as long as it's not flinging you up, I'm okay with that. Take your eyes again, put it down. Really just focus on the leg that's completely down. And drag through that heel. Five seconds. Three, two, one. How are you guys feeling? I'm so sweaty. I feel like I just took a shower. That's so gross. Okay, well since we're down here, um, I'll just do like two minutes of stretches to get those of you who are maybe working out of here. Um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your one leg, cross your ankle over your other knee. You can lift up a little bit, lightly press your knee away from you, only to comfort. Do not overdo it. Keep your back snug with the floor. If you want to do a little bit more, you can always give a little bit extra, but don't overstretch ever. Don't go to that point. Just go where it's like, ooh, okay, that feels good. I feel it. And switch sides. Cross that other ankle over the other knee. Lift and then lightly press that knee away from you while also simultaneously kind of pushing your, uh, this ankle into you. So you should feel a pretty good stretch right in the outside here. And good. All right. Next thing is you're just going to lay on your side, kind of like you're sleeping. Um, so head on your elbow. Keep that bottom leg straight. Top leg is at a 90 degree, keeping your knee in line with your hip at all times. So don't let your knee say young or pop up, okay? And what you're going to do, take your thumb. And reach as far back as you can without letting that knee pop up. And just kind of follow it. And then hold that stretch. So you should feel this maybe in your bicep, um, in your pec muscles. You might feel a little bit in that hip there. And just kind of lightly hold the knee so it doesn't go flopping all over. I want you to take two breaths. 
in through the nose, out through the mouth, and again in through the nose, out through the mouth, Thing we're going to do. Go into a child's pose. So, knees are outside the hand. You're going to kind of sit back. I want you to breathe in through your nose. And when you do, you should feel your belly expand into your hips. You should feel your back rise. And then exhale through your mouth. We're going to go three. Big inhale and exhale. So in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Blow as much air as you can out. Again, in through the nose, and exhale, and try to double it the time, so exhale, exhale. So blow more air out than you bring in. So one more time, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. everybody. Look at my hair. That was a good workout, you guys, if you didn't, if you just joined. Whew, it's crazy. All right, y'all. Well, great work today. I hope you enjoyed this workout as much as my sweaty self did. Um, if you did, give me a like, a comment, whatever you want, or if you're going to do this later on this week, because it's a short week, still get after it. Still get those workouts in. Um, and all of our challengers were in our um, challenge, our quarantine challenge. Get your stuff in. Do not give up on yourself just because it's a short week. This is actually just some extra days to really get some, get your steps in, get some extra workouts in if maybe you haven't been able to because things have been crazy. So utilize this time. Yes, relax for sure. You know, definitely need to let go of stress, but also use this time as some time for you and to get your activity in. All right, you guys. Well, have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.